Hello YouTube and welcome to your third Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you simple math that you can do with integers um, and other types of variables. So, let's go ahead and get started. This is the project I had opened from the last tutorial. And if you remember in the last tutorial, I pound included um, I pound included C type dot H and um, you do not need that. I was thinking that I was going to use um, get line, but instead I use cn, so you don't need um, ctype.h. You see we declared a variable, a variable called int num1. We asked the user what their favorite number is, and they typed in a number, and it's, disc um, it's stored in the variable num1. We just went ahead and ended the line, and then we displayed wow and then whatever their number was is my favorite number too. So let's go ahead and delete this and instead of what is your favorite number we'll just type um, give me a number. Okay so now that we have that we're going to come up here and declare int num2 okay so basically what we've done is uh, we declared a second variable called num2 and we haven't set a value for it yet the user's going to set a value so we just went ahead and told them give me a number and then they went ahead and typed in their number and ended the line so now we want them to give us a number another number so give me another number and then cn num2 and then we'll go ahead and end the line okay so now all we've done is uh, we declared two variables num1 num2 um, we told them give me a number and they went ahead and typed in a number which which is stored in num1 and then we wanted them to give us another number which is stored in num2 simple enough now we're going to declare another variable called int answer or um, int num answer and now what we're going to do down here after they've told us what numbers they had what numbers they want we're just going to go ahead and set num answer is equal to num1 plus num2 and then we'll go ahead and see out num answer okay so I'll run the program and then we'll come back and change this to do to a bunch of other things that you can do so now when we run it okay hold on oh what is that doing there Okay, so now when we run it, see it pops out of the command prompt, and we type give me a number, 23, give me another number, 45, and it adds those two numbers, and it um, tells you that the number is 68. So you can also subtract the two numbers. Um, you can do num1 minus one two, num2, which will just subtract them, simple. Uh, you can multiply them by using the asterisk, and you can divide them by using forward slash. And um, if you want to take, uh, let's say you want to add these two together, uh, you can also um, increment a variable. Um, so if you don't know what that means, it just you can increment it by one by using num answer plus plus now we wouldn't be using this for anything but if you have a variable that you just want to add one to all you have to do is type out the variable plus plus and it'll add the one and um, if you just want to add like another value to num answer you should uh, num answer plus equals three so basically what plus equals three does is it it does the same thing as num answer equals num answer plus three it just shortens up the code a little bit so all you have to do is type plus 
plus equals 3. You can al also do this minus equals 3, uh, divide, um, multiply, all that stuff. And um, you can also, let's see, you can add as many variables as you want together. So um, we can just do num answer equals num answer plus num1 plus num1 plus num2. It doesn't matter how many you use. It'll, it's always going to work. You see when we run it, give me a number 34, give me another number 1. So when you add those together, it equals 35. So um, num answer equals 35. And then we set 35 equals, well, num answer equals 35 plus 34, which is equal to 69, uh, plus 34, which is equal to uh, uh, 69 plus 34 is equal to 103, and then plus 1 is equal to 104. So that works. So um, go ahead, create uh, create a couple of, of your variables, do, do some math with them, get comfortable with all the math tools that you can use, and um, then move on to the next tutorial. So thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.